नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू द डीएसए क्लासेस माय डियर फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन कॉल्ड एज द वुड कटिंग प्रॉब्लम दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन फ्लिपकार्ट कोडिंग राउंड राइट नाउ व्हाट इज दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल अबाउट यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले द क्वेश्चन नाउ टू यू I want you to pause the video, read the question perfectly, and try to come up with a logic on your own. What is the question? Have a look. Assuming you have read the question and you have tried your own solution, now let me help you visualize what the question is actually actually asking you to do. So, there is a forest. There. a person has a wood cutting machine this is a wood cutting machine the beauty about this wood cutting machine is that it can adjust the height in which it is going to cut so see the height can be lowered the height can be increased this is the wood cutting machine now you will be given the heights of a row of trees so let us assume these are the rows of trees now what you have to really do is the wood cutter who owns this machine is a very eco friendly person yes his profession is to cut wood but he doesn't want to waste even a single bit of wood that what is required so he has a target right this target value is only called as b so this b amount of wood he has to chop in a given day he doesn't want to if he can chop the exact amount of wood wonderful but he if he cannot chop the exact amount of wood at least he would like to reduce the amount of extra wood as much as possible because he cares about nature so should we right so basically your task is you have to now through your program find the height of this wood cutting machine which if the wood cutter sets he will be able to either get that exact value or if he can't get the exact value it must be the least amount of wood that he waste for example let us assume this is the height of the machine it cuts if it cuts this is the wood he will get right now if in case i lower the machine's height and i cut then this is the wood that i get so for different heights different wood you will get now you have to write a program which will calculate the best height that this machine should be at so that the wood that you get will either be equal to that value if it is not equal if you get some extra wood that wood should at least be as less as possible in terms of wastage in terms of extra wood i hope this visualization helped you understand how you would be approaching the problem okay let me get out of this forest and come back to our studio now please understand my dear friends What I want to now tell you is a very simple thing, which is, what if I told you that this is a binary search problem? Now, immediately some of you will be like, "No, no, no! How is it a binary search problem?" Let me explain. This is the array that is given to you, which is the heights of the trees. One look at the array, you will notice it is not sorted. Neither is the question promising to give you a sorted array. Now, your brain has been wired in such a way that only if you get a sorted array, you are going to think of binary search, which is absolutely right. That is the direction in which you must think. But that's why this question is a little different, and that's why it's been asked in Flipkart as well, my dear friends. Now, please understand: if these uh, tree heights, I have to help you visualize. I would show it like this: twenty, fifteen, ten, seventy. so i put numbers so that, you know you have some units to calculate you know one unit high two unit three four five whether it's inches centimeter millimeter it doesn't matter to us some we want to find okay great that is the b value so the b value is today the wood cutting machine when it chops these trees at any height it should get seven units of wood if you can find the height of the machine such that it can get exactly seven units amazing but if you can't get exactly 7 if it is more than 7 at least an extra wood should be as less as possible so this is our aim did everyone understand now sir where will you apply binary search will you sort these heights no the moment you apply sorting extra time complexity gets added if they give you sorted array wonderful if you first perform sorting and then do binary search sorting is again going to add extra time to your program so i am not going to sort instead what will you do sir 
please understand guys what i will do is i will find which is the tree in this array which has the maximum height or in other words i will find the largest value from this array all of you can notice that the largest value is 20 and everyone knows how to find the max value or the largest value in an array all of you already know that so if in case i find the largest value i know that is the tree with the maximum height this is the tree with the maximum height 20 now tell me is there any way in which you can cut such that wood from this tree will not get cut 100% not because however you cut it from this tree wood will be cut so ultimately what if i could arrive at the optimal height of that machine using this tree how will you do that sir you may ask on this tree look at the heights i've shown you that this one two three four look at the units don't you agree that this is sorted in a way this is sorted in a way right one two three four five six seven eight ascending order so i am going to apply binary search on this tree to find the height of the wood cutting machine how is that possible please listen to my logic and listen to me carefully because i'm going to apply binary search what i will do is low low will be zero low will be zero okay high high will be the height of the tree so 20 high will be the height of the law of the tallest tree so 20 right now i'm bringing up the table i'll find mid so 0 plus 20 divided by 2 is nothing but 10 so mid is at 10 now what i will do is i will assume that this is the height where if i chop the trees i will get this much amount of wood so see i'm just showing you that let us assume at this height i chop the tree if i chop the tree at height 10 then let us now calculate let us assume the wood cutting machine chopped like this now let us calculate how much wood we will get shall we calculate watch it for that i'll create a variable called as wc wood count right now it is uh, zero let us assume now i want to find how much wood will i get from this now how will you calculate how much wood very simple look at this height of the tree is 20 20 minus mid value mid value is 10 20 minus 10 is 10 20 minus 10 is the amount of wood i will get that's where i'm chopping it so h of 0 minus m will give me the amount of wood i will get in the first tree how are you able to think and how much will i get 10 units of wood that's what i'm showing 10 units of wood second tree second tree if you look at the height definitely there the height of the tree is you know larger than this uh, uh, point where you're cutting so obviously 15 minus 10 is nothing but 5 so 5 units of wood i will get next tree next tree look at it the point you are cutting is 10 the height of the tree is 10 so obviously you will only cut greater than 10 you can't cut 10 because the point is here so here i will not get any wood here i will not get any wood so i will check that condition always before calculating whether the height of the tree that i'm trying to chop is it greater than the point i'm chopping at which is mid because this is not greater i will not get any wood so i'm putting x over there no wood this tree that is not the case obviously it is greater so 17 minus 10 7 units of wood i will add all of them together 10 plus 5 plus 7 i will get 22 that 22 is the value of the amount of wood that you will get if the wood cutting machine chops at height 10 how are able to think 22 you got now your aim is not to return this value your aim is to see whether you got the target value so see what i will do i will check if in case wood count is equal to the given b value is 22 equal to 7 no no means i have not found the right amount of wood but if it was equal if it was equal then would you agree i have chopped at the right point that point is what m or mid value so i'll just return m but you know this condition is false so i'll come to else now what will you do sir now what we'll do is the question says that the woodcutter is a eco-friendly person the question says that he cares about nature he doesn't want to chop extra wood so now only thing it becomes our duty to check whether the amount of wood you got chopping at height 10 is greater than the b value so see else 
if in case the wood count is greater than the b value then that is not my answer i want to see if there can be a better height at which i can cut so that i can reduce this wood count value and it can be equal to or as less uh, you know extra wood as possible so see because this condition is true what i will do is think about it logically this is where you cut you want the wood amount of wood you are chopping to reduce if it should reduce should i lower this height or should i increase the height common sense tells me i should increase the height simple so what will you do think about it if you want to increase the height the height at which you are chopping is m next iteration if you want m to be on top then would you agree low value must be brought to wherever m is so see what i am doing i am just removing this i'm just removing this and i'm showing you that this low value should be brought wherever m is any confusion then that's what i'm showing l is equal to m otherwise if this was not true it's not equal it's not greater means the amount of wood you calculated was lesser than b value if it is lesser than b value then the height must be decreased so that more wood if height should be decreased obviously h should be brought wherever m is that is what i'm doing h equal to m did you understand did you understand how i am using the binary search logic to help me calculate the position how about you think anyways now low is 10 wherever mid was h is the same again i will calculate mid 10 plus 20 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 which means now the new m value is 15 which means i should be cutting at 15 i should be cutting at 15 now if i cut at 15 height how much wood will i get calculate how to calculate run a loop over this array of heights check if in case the height of the tree is greater than the point where you are cutting yes it is greater if it is greater take this value subtract it with the mid value you will get how much wood you will get 20 minus 15 is 5 5 units of wood that's what i'm showing second tree is 15 15 is not greater than the point where i'm cutting which is 15 so i'll not get any wood so uh, x and then next 10 is also not greater than 15 so x no wood 17 is greater than 15 so 17 minus 15 how many units of wood i will get two units of wood add all of them together what did you get seven that is your wood count that is your wood count now come and check if in case the wood count so see wood count is 7 is 7 equal to the b value yes so you found the exact point where if you cut you will get exact amount of wood if so take and return the point where you are cutting which is the mid value so what should be your output 15 did you understand the question did you understand the logic now we will think however however don't think always the wood count you calculate will be exactly the value that is given to you no, possible possible if the heights of the tree are such that whichever point i find i will never be able to cut exact number of wood such a such a, a scenario also can occur what do you mean sir mas let me show you assume the height of the trees is the same assume that the b value now is 8 b value now is 8 okay so if b value is 8 then i'm just bringing low to its original position okay so uh, mid also uh, high to its original position and mid is here now watch it i'm bringing the table initially low is 0 high is 20 mid is 10 i will cut at 10 listen to me carefully i will cut at 10 then i will see how much wood i can get how much wood i can get is nothing but 20 minus 10 so i'm writing here no space 10 units of wood right 15 uh, minus 10 five units of wood 10 is lesser uh, great it's not greater than 10 so in this third tree i'll not get any wood so x then third tree 17 17 minus uh, 10 is nothing but 7 7 units of wood 10 plus 5 plus x plus 7 x means nothing don't think you have to add x also you'll get 22 that is your wood count wood count becomes 22 now check is wood count equal to the b value no is wood count greater than the b value yes which means now you should increase the height of the machine so at less wood is chopped right so what am i doing i am bringing low to where mid is and if i do that low comes wherever mid is i hope it is clear now 
again I am going to apply this binary search logic but I am not really searching for anything but I will apply binary search logic. If I do that what happens is uh, low becomes equal to mid high is the same 10 plus 20 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 which means now the new mid value which means the new mid value is now 15. Now at 15 if in case I cut my friends then how much is the wood I will get simple you know here you will get 5 units of wood here you will not get anything here you will not get anything here you will get 2 units of wood add them together 7. Now come and check is the wood count equal to B value no is the wood count greater than the B value no it is lesser lesser means you have to now lower the lower the height of the tree oh, sorry not the tree the machine so that more wood you will get so if you have to lower the height of the machine and the mid value next time should come below then should you adjust lower or should you adjust high actually you should adjust high so watch it that is what I am doing I will tell a hey, please make high wherever mid is please make high wherever mid is any confusion so see low is the same high becomes equal to mid so 10 plus 15 is 25 25 divided by 2 is 12 which means new mid value is 12 new mid value is 12 any confusion now at 12 I will cut this watch this at 12 I will cut if I cut at height 12 what does it mean it means that now you have to calculate how much wood you will get so very simple 20 minus 12 I'll get 8 units of wood from the first tree uh, uh, 15 minus 12 I'll get 3 units of wood in the second tree third tree I will not get anything fourth tree is 17 minus 12 5 units of wood I will get so 8 plus 3 plus 5 is nothing but 16 any confusion 16 is my new wood count is it equal to B no is it greater than B yes which means I'm wasting wood if I should waste wood if, if I should not waste wood the next time should the height of the machine increase or decrease it should increase so if it should increase low value should be brought wherever mid is that is what I'm showing bring low value wherever mid is I hope I'm clear till here so low becomes equal to mid which is 12 high is the same 15 12 uh, 15 plus 12 divided by 2 is nothing but 13 so 13 is my new mid value now at 13 if in case I cut if in case I cut at 13 then what happens very simple try to analyze at 13 you cut now calculate how much wood you will get 20 minus 13 you will get uh, 7 units of wood next uh, here you will get uh, 15 minus uh, uh, 13 you will get 2 units of wood here you will not get anything here if in case I do 17 minus 13 is nothing but uh, 3, 4. So 7 plus 2 plus 4 is nothing but 13, 13 units of wood you got. That is your new wood count. Check if it is equal to B, no. Check if it is greater than B. Greater than B means maybe you are wasting extra wood. So to prevent that, again make low equal to mid. If I make low equal to mid, low comes here, right? and then now if I calculate the new thing what happens is I will get uh, 13 is my low high was the same 13 plus 15 divided by 2 is nothing but 14 which means my new mid value is 14 now at 14 I will try to cut if I cut at 14 then what is the new wood count very simple 20 minus 14 6 you will get uh, 15 minus 14 1 unit of wood you will get no nothing you will get uh, here I will get uh, 17 minus 14 3 units of wood if I add them together I will get 10 10 units of wood that is my new wood count check if in case the wood count is equal to the B value no is it greater yes definitely 10 is greater now if 10 is greater don't again foolishly increase the low value because here I mean it, it is greater if it is greater I will increase the low value according to my logic I should increase the low value low becomes equal to mid which means where does low come low comes here low comes here now watch it low comes here right now I will calculate the new mid value so low is 14 high is 15 15 plus 14 divided by 2 is 14 which means mid and low are at the same point now mid and low are at the same point now now you must understand 
there is something special about this condition where low and mid becomes equal. Because the moment low and mid becomes equal, think about it. At 14, I will cut. If I cut at 14, same amount of wood only I will get. Right? The wood count will be same 10 only because last time also it was 14 only. Now, then you will check if it is greater. If it is greater than the B value, you will again, you know, try to increase the low value. If you try to increase the low value, tell me, what will happen is the amount of wood you will be getting will reduce. If I increase the low value anymore, the amount of, uh, uh, you know, wood I will get will reduce. Which means from this point onwards, I am just showing it to you, from this point onwards, if in case I increase the height, I will be getting lesser wood. From this point onwards, if I decrease the height, I will be getting more wood than what I want. Which means I am at a point where I realized I will never get the exact value. And this is the best possible height for me. Yes, 10 units of wood is not the exact count. I am cutting extra wood, but compared to all other heights, I am now getting as less wood as possible. And that is what I also want. So did you understand? The moment low value and mid value becomes the same, it means you have found a point from which you can neither increase nor decrease. Upon decreasing too much wood, upon increasing too little wood, but you will not get exact. If you got exact, this condition somewhere would have worked. You would have got the exact point. But there is no exact point. Which means, you must return this M. So, how will I return that midpoint? Simple. What I will go here is, I will go here and I will put one more condition, friends. I will put one more condition. Sir, what is that condition? I will tell, if the wood count is equal to B, beautiful, return M. Or, or, there can be another condition where my low became equal to mid. If such a situation occurs, then I know that I found a point which is the best possible point. Not exact amount of wood I got, but I got the best possible amount of wood without wasting much. So if this is also true or this is also true, please return mint. I hope you are able to think. Any confusion till this point of time? So this is the wood cutting problem. So, if I have to break it down into the number of operations you have to do. See, number one, you have to find the maximum value in your array. So, I have to find the max tree on which you must apply binary search. Number one. So, finding largest element in your array. Number two is, number two is to find the wood count. So, the moment you find the point where you are cutting, you have to find how much wood you will get. For that, you must write a function which will iterate over the elements of the array, check if the height of the tree is greater than the point where you are cutting and if it is greater, find how much wood you will get. Add it all together and basically store it inside wood count. How are you able to think? Then you have to come and compare here. How are you able to think? Which means, would you agree that before I do this, I must first find wood count. Whatever wood count I get, I will store it in WC and only then I can do these operations. So finding the largest, finding the wood count and obviously this one. How are you able to think? Will this work is a bigger question. For that, let's go write some code. Now watch it. I have created a function called as machine height, which returns the height that the machine should cut at. It acts of uh, tree heights and the B value, which is the amount of wood you need. So this is my array, I have just initialized it. If this was an online test, they will pass multiple test cases to you. So this is B, uh, 7 is the value. I am calling it, passing it, whatever it returns, I am printing it. Now let's come inside this. Okay, now first of all, this is the height array. You have to find the maximum tree height. This tree here, it is the first tree only is maximum. It could be anywhere. Now how do you find the maximum, largest element in an array? Very simple. I will just tell, I uh, will just create a variable called as max. Initially, I'll make it a zero. Then I will just run a loop on my height side. I less than h dot length. 
and I will tell I plus plus. All I will do is I will just check if in case the uh, you know element at the ith position. So I'm just checking if in case the element at the ith position is it greater than my max value. If it is greater I will replace the max with h of i. That way by the time I reach the end of the array I would have got the true max. Any confusion till this point of time? Great. I hope this has also worked. Now you have the max. Now on that tree of height 20 you must now apply binary search. I hope you are able to think. So for that you have to now set low and all that right. So first int l low is 0 initially high h h is nothing but equal to max that is why you found out max so h is h h, h is already there is it okay we will um, you can make that as ht here maybe ht i'll just make it as ht because you can't have two local variables with the same name yeah ht i'll make that as h Okay, good. Now that is equal to max, right? Next, uh, th that's about it. Comma mid, I will make it as zero. Great. Now what I'm going to do is now I'll apply that. So I will just tell while the condition is the same, l less than or equal to h. What I'm going to now do is I'll come inside this and I will first first thing is that find mid. So if I find mid. So mid is equal to L plus H divided by 2. Next uh, what I am going to do is I found out the mid value. So mid is nothing but the point where you are cutting. So now what I will do is I will just come there and I will tell if, uh, if in case uh, first of all the point where you are cutting how much wood will you get from that point is what you have to calculate. How will you calculate for that? I will call a function called as find wood count. And I will pass n to it. Okay. Whatever it returns, whatever it returns, I will collect it within a variable called as wc, int wc. Out. Int wc. Any confusion, guys? Okay. Sir, what is this function? How does it work? Simple. I'll go outside and I'll create that function. So, uh, obviously, you know, for this function, it requires this hurry also. So, I'll just pass that as well h comma i am um, ht comma i because here we have called this as ht okay now find wood count accepts both my array as well as my point mid value and mid value right now how will you do this it's very simple guys so mid value let us assume was 15 let us assume it value is 50. So what does this mean? This means is that you have to now run a loop on this array. Check if the element is greater than the mid value. If it is greater, subtract the element minus the mid value. That is the amount of wood you will get there. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Sum of all of that will be a wood count. So watch it. I'll just tell, uh, I'll create, uh, yeah, I'll create nothing. You can just run a loop or you can create a variable maybe. Uh, wood, uh, wood count, int wc I will tell into wc and initially let it be 0 okay now see here i'm running a loop now what i'll do is i'll check if in case the element at the ith position ht of i is this greater than the mid value the point where you're cutting if it is greater than that then i will get wood how much wood is nothing but wc is equal to old value of wc plus plus within brackets I will tell ht of i minus m. So very simple. ht of i minus m will give me the amount of wood I will get. I will update that to wc by summing it up. Now for everything. Simple. I will come outside the loop and ultimately I would have found wc which is the amount of wood. I will return it. Return wc. I hope this is clear to everyone. Okay. So now come out. So see. In my loop what did I do? Found the mid value calculated how much wood I will get from that. Now I will come inside and check if in case the wood count is equal to the B value. 
If it is equal to the B value, then return mid. Hmm? However, here one more condition also is there. Or the L value is equal to the N value. This just now I explained. If not, just you know reverse the video and watch it. Right? Else, else, I'll check if it is greater or lesser. So if in case WC is greater than B, then I would like to uh, increase the height of the machine so less wood is generated. So L is equal to N. Else means it is lesser. If it is lesser, I obviously have to decrease the height so that more wood I get. So I will tell H is equal to N. That is pretty much it, right? Now, in this entire while loop, if these conditions never satisfied, of course, it will always be satisfied. Some way or the other, it will be satisfied. If I come out, if I come out, then you know the function you have told will return an integer, so we have to return something. I'll just return minus one. Minus one means I didn't find a suitable point at all to get the amount of wood that I need. Any confusion? Great. Now let's try to execute this code and check. So uh, 15, you know, got scrolled down. Here, if you notice, the value is 7. So to find 7, you have to cut at 15. Correctly, you've got. Let us make it as 8. It should be, it should be 14, according to what we checked previously. 14. So it works perfectly. So I hope you understand why product-based companies pay is almost three times, four times what other normal companies pay. Because their engineers are expected to come up with unique solutions to complex problems, to real life problems. Because what you call as your product based companies are such companies which has taken upon a real world problem upon themselves and are trying to give a cutting edge software solution for it. So naturally, a, how good a company is depends upon how good the people are who are working in the company. And the easiest way to filter out the best from the rest is by giving such questions which test your logical ability. But logical ability is not something you're born with. It is something you develop over time by solving and solving and solving. I hope these questions are inspiring you to take up this journey seriously and give it your 100%. Anyways, I will catch you in the next class with even more exciting programs. Till then, take care.